Hi, I'm Melvin Way, and this documentary mini-series is going to be about how to grow ginger from your typical supermarket ginger roots. If you leave ginger out for a really long time, it starts growing these buds that generate shoots. This looks like one of those typical places where a bud could appear. So I'm going to chop this piece of ginger up and soak the pieces in water and see what develops of that. I just washed a glass Pyrex bowl, and that'll be my incubation container for germination. And here I have the piece of ginger root on a cutting board. So I'm going to cut this ginger into several pieces and try to see how they germinate. As you can see, I've cut up the ginger root into six pieces. They're different sizes. And for instance, this piece down here is basically the very bottom of the root you just saw, or the bottom as I was holding it. So I cut a large swath, you know, a cross section of that, to see if it can establish a hormone gradient and start generating shoot apical marrow stems that grow upwards and root systems that grow downwards and these three pieces already had buds forming and this one I think on the side uh, this is another piece that had no apparent buds forming so it might take a while but I'll have these exposed to the daily sunlight and it's currently about 1 30 p.m. so if you look here that's my balcony it's early March here in San Diego and it's still very cold outside at nights and sometimes during the day too so I can't have the ginger be outside. It's 1.30 p.m. in another 60 to 90 minutes the sun will come in here and shine upon these plants so they don't get much more than 90 minutes of direct sunlight a day these days although I expect that to increase and also for the intensity of the sunlight to increase. My intuition is that if I give these roots enough water and enough direct sunlight that'll stimulate germination much faster than just leaving the ginger on a counter. These roots contain rich energy stores within them so for the time being they can be in water but eventually I expect to transplant them to soil. One thing I should mention is that ginger thrives in the temperature range of 24 to 30 Celsius which is suited more to tropical Asia. I mean that's practically summer temperatures here in San Diego although sometimes it does get hotter than that much hotter but right now it's uh, early March and temperatures would be about 14 Celsius to down to 11 Celsius if I were to open this sliding door all day you know the temperatures would probably kill it or make it not grow at all so I'm definitely gonna have to keep this indoors okay it's 4 p.m. and the sun is shining on these ginger roots and I made an aluminum foil reflector, it's very primitive, to reflect more of the sunlight back onto the plants and increase the warmth. Hopefully that will speed up the germination process. Okay, it's day one, March 10th. I'm counting day one as 24 hours after I began this experiment by chopping up this ginger root into six pieces and soaking them in water. Hopefully with some additional watering, these ginger roots will grow. Um, when I woke up this morning, there was no water left in this bowl, and I'm assuming it all got absorbed into the roots. So I sprayed some additional water into this uh, bowl today and all over the top faces of the ginger. So the first place I'm expecting growth is at these buds, and I don't know if there's been that much difference. Um, we'll see over the next few days if the skin around these buds starts to split apart. The last place I'm expecting development to happen would be, you know, a large cut cross section like this because there are no apparent buds, although there could be one on the side that I'm looking at right now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, it's day two of this ginger germination experiment, and I compare this to footage of day zero when I first started, and what I noticed was that there is a uh, bud development going on. So I think what I'm doing is working. So here's a close-up of one of the buds that's developing and here's one on the other side so it'll probably have two shoot systems or shoot apical meristems coming out of there and likewise over here you can see sort of a bud coming out and maybe one will form here. So there's two obvious places here in this small piece where buds might come out of but for these, you know, I'm thinking it's more of the side. Whatever is the highest point will become a shoot apical meristem. 
and for that very large piece that means it would be here and for this piece I still can't tell yet but so I sprayed some distilled water on these to the point where the bottom few millimeters were soaking in water and if I pour this you know it's still kinda silty because of all the I guess the loose parts of the ginger and some parts of it just sort of dissolve in the water because I created all these wounds effectively by cutting the ginger root so the ginger root is somewhat dissolved in the water now I'm not sure if ginger is antimicrobial but you know if you leave ginger alone long enough it'll start growing mold too it's obviously not as effective as people think it is in terms of preventing mold growth so I won't be doing further watering until I see this water has dried out because I think in the first 24 hours from day 0 to day 1 the roots were dry and deprived so they really soaked up all the moisture that was available all the water on the bottom of the bowl and that's why it disappeared so fast but you know this water has been here for 24 hours so that's a sign that enough is enough and if it dries out I'll add a little more okay it's day three and there are very subtle changes uh, the buds have gotten bigger at least the ones that are visible so we'll see what happens tomorrow it's day five of this ginger germination experiment so I don't know if you can see but just a few seconds ago if you were to compare this to the footage of day four or day three there's been a little bit more growth in these buds and elsewhere I think there's uh, more growth in that bud for these it's not too clear yet what's gonna happen you know maybe there's a bump forming there so there's not too much water at the bottom it's still cloudy due to just fragments of the ginger skin and parts of the root mixing in and uh, free floating in the water there's not all that much water compared to say 24 hours ago so there is definitely an evaporation issue and also the roots themselves are soaking up quite a bit of moisture so they should be fully saturated with water since they're constantly soaking in water and have been in for five days although the tops could be a little dry I think definitely you won't see buds coming out of there um, so yeah I'm not sure or convinced that you can see a bud coming out of a cross section but definitely anywhere where the skin is intact you'll see bud development so if you look over here that seems to be new there's just a, a bud popping out if you look closely at here you can see a smaller bud developing next to the larger bud there are hormone gradients that are established by you know the gravitational pull and positioning of these plant parts so if I were to turn all of these cuttings upside down that would sort of turn the universe of these uh, developing buds upside down as well but it may be that once they start to develop they basically are committed to a course of action and nothing will happen but um, you know if I were to turn these undeveloped cross sections upside down that would probably turn you know the internal organic chemistry of these plants um, or plant parts these are sections of a root that would turn their world upside down and mess things up so you definitely want to mimic nature where you know a part of a root a fragment just lands in the soil and assumes a certain position on the ground whether it's horizontal or vertical or diagonal or whatnot and hormone gradients get established within all the plant cells and a hierarchy forms and you have a shoot apical meristem growing up which in this case would be all the buds you're seeing um, which will soon lead to leaves and a root system that develops uh, probably within these ginger roots and it'll erupt from the bottom if there's soil available for it to grow in